So many great movies have been filmed in Chicago, but I want to share with you six of my favorites, some of which you may not even be aware of. Let's take a look. Hi, this is Ann Rossley. Do you ever wonder exactly where some of the great Chicago movies were filmed? Let's take a look at some of my favorites. I think you'll get a kick out of these. This first house you're looking at is the famous location for where Ferris Bueller and his friend stole the car. Actually, it was his friend's father's car and they took it downtown Chicago. But we're not going to talk about Chicago suburban homes like Home Alone House. Here's the 16 Candles House. I want to talk about the city and what films are famous for being filmed in the city. This is my very favorite, Only the Lonely. Only the Lonely stars John Candy as the romantic lead. His mother is Maureen O'Hara, who's actually being courted by Anthony Quinn, who you don't see here. And his love interest is Ali Sheedy. It takes place in a Chicago home in Lakeview. This is an interior, and it's really a fun, typical shot of an old Chicago home. The bar scene is at Emmett's. Both of these are at Roscoe and Clark. And it is just a fun, fun movie. Ali Sheedy is a mortician who lives over the funeral home. And it's a typical Chicago funeral home. It's really quite fantastic. Steve McQueen filmed The Hunter in 1979. And uh, there were some really great scenes where they're chasing. You see the train here. That's actually, they called it at the time the Ravenswood. Today we call it the Brown Line. Great scenes there leading up to the great fall off of Marina Towers. And uh, Michael Phillips has a great article in the Tribune where he talks about this and how it happened. There were supposed to be two takes, but the first one went beautifully. And 1,500 spectators watched it fall into the Chicago River. This is what Marina Towers looks like today. And you can see the parking down below here with the condominiums above. More recently, the great Walensky's uh, did a tightrope across the Chicago River, but that wasn't a movie. That was live TV. All right. Here's a blast from the past. This is Child's Play or Chucky. And too scary for me. I didn't see the movie, but it's a famous landmark in Chicago, the Brewster at 2800 uh, North Pine Grove, corner of Pine Grove and Diversity. And I guess the... Uh, babysitter falls out the window. But this is what the building looks like today. It's a wonderful landmark building. Look at this interior. Some of the uh, action took place in the elevator. Look at this gorgeous elevator. Isn't this absolutely stunning? Well, you can buy a condo here. There's a one bedroom currently for sale for $219,000. And uh, it's available today. And you could live in this iconic Chicago historic building. Nothing in Common is another old building, and it was great both for the movie and for the soundtrack. This is one of Tom Hanks' early films with uh, Jackie Gleason, and it was filmed throughout Chicago. Funny enough, they have a car scene that takes place in Marina Tower's garage as well. This and a couple other scenes take place in the geodesic pool that's at... 400 East Randolph. That's what the pool looks like in the daytime. You may have seen it. It's uh, the oldest building in the New East Side, 400 East Randolph. And you can see this pool from the back side of the building uh, at Lakeshore East. The Fugitive, starring Harrison Ford. There are some iconic scenes from Chicago. This one where he gets the prosthetic, that's at Cook County Hospital. And then down below, that's when we used to have the St. Patrick's Day Parade on March 17th itself on Dearborn. But what I wanted to talk to you about was the house where the murder occurred. It occurred at his home, which was 336 West Wisconsin. That sold in 2018 for $2,925,000. $2 this is the iconic stairwell that you may remember from the movie. Uh, really a cool property. Return to me with David Duchovny and Minnie Driver. Uh, here's a better picture. 
it takes place at Twin Anchors, and it's a romantic comedy that takes place in Chicago. Another one of my favorites. I'd put this up there right with Only the Lonely, maybe my number two favorites. They don't serve ribs. They serve Italian food. But he is an architect, and he is working on the renovation of the Ape House at Lincoln Park Zoo. And there it is in real life, the iconic Twin Anchors. If you haven't gone there for ribs, you really have to. 